In this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, enmeshed relationships, codependency, um, attachment issues, and uh, I recently bumped into a person who was facing problems of not being able to have a sense of separation uh, from the people they're enmeshed with and not able to be themselves, um, and um, also having fear of detachment or letting go and uh, having previously experienced enmeshed uh, relationships with parents. Um, and they can't stand uh, being alone. So this is um, very uh, a classic hallmark of people uh, who go into these kind of addictive dependency type issues, these strong attachments. And uh, codependency is uh, when these strong attachments are with people. So what, what do you do in these situations? Well, what I would do is um, to do a lot of spiritual work with the aim of releasing the attachment. So if an attachment is very strong, then you'll have very strong dependency issues, uh, very strong enmeshment. And uh, it will lead to all kinds of problems. And also, if uh, the relationship ends, will create uh, huge withdrawal pain as the attachment is released. But often, uh, people who are codependent or have high dependency issues will quickly attach to another person so they don't have to feel the pain of just uh, allowing themselves to start to develop a relationship with their eternal presence, with God. So what I highly encourage is um, if you are in an enmeshed or dependent relationship or a relationship where you're fearing uh, an ending of a relationship or a breakup or something like that, is that you do as much uh, letting go work as possible. So how would you do this letting go work? Well, one of them is um, to take time to... Uh, uh, to take time away from the person you're enmeshed with and just sit with your feelings to imagine what it would be like uh, if the relationship ended and just to feel out all those feelings so you start to get a sense of presence and self an eternal inner connection whereby you know you're going to be fine whether they stay or they don't stay whether you, um, the relationship continues or not and you, be, you start to feel like you'd be fine even if the relationship ended because you're source of connection is now starting to come from within rather than independency being coming from a place of, of lack or emptiness and being projected out that another person is actually filling it up all it is is an attachment um, and uh, if it's a strong attachment it can create very negative consequences uh, for the person who's highly dependent so just um, taking time away and sitting with feelings um, if you're engaging in, in behaviors which um, uh, create dependency, like continuous texting, calling, wanting always to be around this person or get affirmations from this person, then you would um, create, uh, you, you would become aware of these and then you would uh, say to yourself that you're either going to stop these behaviors or, or severely limit these behaviors uh, so that you can start to feel that attachment out and start to get this sense of inner presence. If you're ever triggered by the person, allow yourself to sit with the feelings, don't label or make a story, and just allow yourself to experience um, these feelings until you, you sense they're starting to pass. Or if it's a lot of feelings or high dependency, then take 10 or 15 minutes every day just to allow yourself to experience the feelings and try to get a sense of self which is totally independent of that person. And you'll know you're getting there because you'll know you feel absolutely fine if they were to leave and you'll never to see them again or they were to stay. Your sense of self would be stronger than that. So um, those are some of the tools. You can also do A Course in Miracles, pray for a miracle to see, see them differently. Uh, God is the strength in which you trust. You know, you, you, you're you getting a sense of inner connection which is self-sustaining. So you don't need to be dependent on other people. In fact, dependency on other people, which is attachment, uh, to the extent that that becomes stronger and stronger, it, it, you lose your sense of inner connection to divine presence. 
The other thing to do with uh, people you're enmeshed with is to practice um, self-inquiry, which is to practice if you're feeling um, like lonely and you want to you want to call them or you want to be with them, then just see what's observing that feeling of loneliness or wanting to call them, and and uh, go to the attached observer so that you can get this inner sense of presence and know that uh, it's totally unnecessary to have those urges going on. Eventually, if you've fully released the attachment, when you're with them, um, you're happy before you meet them, you're happy when you meet them, you're happy after you left them, but it's not like dependency where you look forward to meet them and then you get a, a, a spike of happiness and then you, don't, you feel depressed when they've left, like a, like a drug. So you start to r release um, the attachment in that way. When you're with them, practice the observer. What's observing? What's observing your sense of self and them? What's observing the whole room? Get to that state of uh, detached um, presence or witnessing, and you'll start to detach from all your little hooks of enmeshment and your, and your thoughts. If you have uh, certain belief systems like uh, I believe I can't live without them, or I'll be devast I believe I'll be devastated if they leave. Just cancel those beliefs. I cancel my belief. I need this person to live. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief that my source is something external to, to my inner presence. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Cancel my belief in uh, codependency and enmeshed relationships. I'm an infinite being subject only to a, what I hold in mind, and so that you'll start to develop this sense of inner presence and happiness and inner contentment, uh, which is uh, self-sustaining from within, so that you can now be your authentic self and, and, and live the life, have relationships but with no dependency, as Buddha said. All attachments create uh, are the root of suffering, old age, death, um, loss. So getting this connection to the enlightened self the eternal self, the observer, the stillness within, uh, then allows one to live life in the effortless flow uh, of life, which is a beatific experiencing of life.